Are we ready for some 8K video? Shot on the R5. Welcome to this video and this video is full of 8k goodness and this is the iPhone 12 Pro review So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it So the iPhone 12 Pro is a brand new design the curved edges are gone. It's replaced by flat edges It's a uh, stainless steel It's on the side the, the back is frosted glass when you hold it in your hands this feels pretty good the grip especially is pretty solid because of the change in design it is a little lighter than 11 pro it feels uh, so it looks pretty premium it looks solid it looks like a premium phone um, personal favorite though I still like the uh, curved uh, design but that's just me. I think most of the majority, they like the uh, square design, the rectangle, the square edges. But again, I, I gotta say that the grip, this helps with the grip compared to the, uh, the curved design. All right, so now the display. Looking at the display, this is a Super Retina XDR display, 6.1 inches and looking at it this is quite sharp quite crispy it's oled so the colors are pretty good i like the accuracy of the colors i cannot complain about the display looks pretty good looks nice um and it has uh 1200 nits of brightness so the display gets i think pre pretty bright the ceramic shield on the display um apple is claiming that this is a this is better than Gorilla Glass, um, again, I don't know how strong this is. I have not tested it, tested it. I have not thrown this around and I, have, I probably have dropped it once. It's still good, didn't scratch or anything like that. But again, this is glass. Glass will eventually break. Depends on how hard you hit it or how soft you hit it or how hard it gets hit. But again, glass breaks. So best thing is that put a screen protector on and put a case on it to protect the phone. It has IP68 water resistance, so yeah, it probably can take it for a swim for a few minutes and should be fine. I think the best one was the iPhone 8 Plus. Four hours with me at a water park and still worked. So the new feature that their Apple has marketed heavily is the 5G. 5G radio, 5G antenna band, and 5G overall. So 5G is basically at its very early stages right now. I don't get 5G in my area, and or I think in New York you have a very handful of area where you're gonna get 5G. So I think it's be uh, a year or two ahead of its time. So it's good to have 5G, but I cannot use 5G right now. So. Again, 5G is now something that I will tell people that you should buy the iPhone 12 Pro because it, it has 5G. No, that should not be the reason to upgrade. Another feature is, is MagSafe. Apple, this is a new new thing. Apple came out with the MagSafe charger. Um, they removed the charger from the box, but they made, they made you buy an extra charger for $40 without a charging brick. Saving the environment. Anyways, um, that's that's a separate video. But MagSafe is basically a magnet that clips on to the back of your iPhone, and it charges the iPhone. You can also get accessories that is compatible with MagSafe, like this case, which is compatible with MagSafe. So they have a bunch of other accessories that that are coming out that are compatible with MagSafe. So everything's probably going to be MagSafe. From now on, this is a peek into the future of uh, iPhones with, I think, uh, portless uh, iPhones, maybe iPhones without ports uh, down the line, or maybe lenses, magnetic lenses, 
to enhance the camera, uh, to attach to the camera of an iPhone. I don't know. Apple can do a lot of things with this whole magnetic thing that they came out with for the iPhone. All right, so the biggest feature that I, I personally like is uh, the camera. The camera is improved um, slightly if it's for stills. I mean, if you're coming from 11 Pro, it is improved slightly. The lighter sensor on the back of the phone um, helps out with that. There's more light that, that is there. The wide angle lens is 1.6 aperture. So all in all, the camera is pretty awesome. So the biggest change comes on to the video side of the iPhone 12 Pro. The 12 Pro shoots uh, Dolby Vision HDR in 4K at 10 bit. That is a very uh, different HDR format compared to HDR 10. It's something that caters towards the uh, video shooting filmmakers or video enthusiasts, um, especially someone like me. I shoot a lot with my smartphone, so that definitely is something that is that caters towards my needs. But a couple of things. Um, this is not for the mainstream audience. I guess you can turn off that HDR feature so you don't have to shoot in HDR. Uh, HDR stands for high dynamic range. You can, the regular iPhones, the iPhone 11 Pro, or any iPhone before 12 shot at standard, SDR, standard, standard dynamic range. So yeah, you can turn off the HDR and you can shoot in uh, SDR. But if you really want that color and that bit rate so that you can edit the footage um, or color grade the footage accordingly so you can definitely do that it still boggles my mind that a smartphone can actually shoot this and a smartphone chip especially the a14 bionic the processor and this smartphone this iphone can edit that footage so that's where the A14 Bionic flexes its muscles like crazy. So you can shoot. Uh, so you can shoot at uh, a high dynamic range, uh, Dolby Vision high dynamic range. But to edit it, that's a whole step that you have to do. I, I did actually a video. The link will be in the description. That's where you go. This is how you do that. And Final Cut Pro. Long story short, Final Cut Pro is not supported right now. Only way to edit it is. If you don't want to do color grading is through iMovie on the iPhone 12 and the 12 Pro. So you export it in standard dynamic range or you can export it in high dynamic range and you can take it to Final Cut and color grade your footage and then you can publish it. But if you do it in iMovie there is an option where you can actually export it in standard dynamic range. That helps with the color being same so the color doesn't become high overly exposed the color science stays the same it's just standard dynamic range but shot at hdr at 10 bit and the color looks pretty nice and that you can publish it so in short a lot of people will not be bothered by this they will this is not catered towards the mainstream audience so this is not this, is, this should not be the reason for someone uh, a general person to upgrade from the iPhone 11 Pro to the 12 Pro, but um, someone like me, I like these these kind of stuff. I like it. That's that's good for me and my uh, workflow. But that reminds me, this these features, this stuff, this is all before its time. The iPhone 12 feels like that it it's something it has a lot of uh, power, but not enough. Uh, apps to take advantage of the power. One way to that it, it shows its power is by editing that 4K footage, that Dolby Vision high dynamic range inside that iPhone through iMovie. And maybe a lot of games will take advantage of it from the App Store, but a lot of games are not even even there. So it's I think a year and a half or a couple of years up before its time. Um, but it's a solid phone. The last thing I'll talk about is the battery life. I think that's something that's very important to me, battery life in, in general. Battery life is actually, um, 
and my testing, because I didn't do 5, 5G testing, I just did the Wi-Fi and the data, you're probably gonna get the same than the 11 Pro, so that's something that is uh, that's not good. Probably gonna get the six hours, six and a half hours of screen on time, or seven hours, if you push it, but your, your mileage might, might vary. But that's it, that's the battery life. That's something that I, I wish that was uh, better, but it's not, so that might be something that you might want to think about before you upgrade. Anyways, so that's the iPhone 12 Pro. That's a review of it. Um, a solid phone. If you're coming from an iPhone 11 Pro, probably not worth the upgrade. If you're coming from something that is before the 11 uh, Pro, a solid upgrade. So that's it for now. That's the 8K video shot on the Canon R5. Ladies and gents, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, give it a thumbs down. But come on, you said an 8K video. How can you dislike it? But please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification. This is Kazi signing out. Take care.